Photofusion has added some new features to its text. Uh, so we're going to go here to text. Um, the text box I pinned open by hitting this little button here. See? That's unpinned. Now it's like it's pinned in. Um, just so I can keep it open and show you what I'm talking about. You can um, type in some text. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. There. There's some text. We're going to put it on one line here like that. And what you can do is you can highlight it, change the font, come down here to something maybe you can see. All right, well, it's going to go back to two. That's fine. And now, you couldn't do this before, but you can come in here and just highlight one letter at a time, and you can change the color. Just like that. There you go. And then you can come in and you can put an edge. We're going to leave it black. Kind of like that. Then you can come down to this one and you can put an edge on it and make this edge white. Can't really see it though on this white background. Let's see if I can come here. Make it just a little bit bigger. I'll uh, come over here and pick up a new background. There, now you can really see it. You can see the difference in it. It's kind of cool. You can come here to Effects, and you have to set an amount, or else you're not going to see any, any desired changes. And you can go through and see some of the fuzzies you can do. Kind of like a crayon effect there. A blurred crayon. Transparent. Some of it's transparent. Kind of cool. These are especially nice if you want to come in and use um, a shadow. And you can change the shadow color really make it stand out. This uh, this looks like an em, em, a reversed emboss type look here. But just click on this again and you can if you have a scroll mouse you can go through and and see some very obvious changes here. This is uh, some of the shadings. Very cool. Uh, they did a really good job with this. And you can also come in and, and do the edge. Of course, you have to set your amount. Whatever edge effects you want, you can also do those the same way. See? Both of them. Do some transparent edging. Now when you come down to the opaque uh, shading area, you can really get into some fine um, smudged looks. You have to adjust the shadow a little bit. But you can come up with some raised, see this one almost looks like it's a raised text. Let's make this with a solid. And we're going to, let's see, come here. All right, there's the edge thick thickness on this one, and this one should bring it up. There's the edge thickness as a one on this. The fill is going to be a question mark because they're all different colors. This can almost go to a grace scale like this, maybe up to a two. But you can add some really neat effects 
Um, another thing you can do, let's get rid of the text here. And you can go to the advanced and click this one. And you can even change and make it go vertical. Close it in and pretty nifty. Oh, that's my cursor there is why that's like that. But you can change things around. Really, there's oh spelling backwards, which is kind of cool. Right to left, and then left to right. All different kinds. I think somebody who is much more creative than I am will uh, find some very useful tips for this, and I sure hope they share them because I really like what PhotoFusion has done. Um, again, it's a it's an awesome program. And I hope this helps just a little bit. And I hope you like my other tutorials. Thanks for watching this one.